Hello, it's Mrs. Sir, it's my sister, and welcome to a day in the life of a slice of bread. Hey, I like being a slice of bread. You know, I've always, I've, I've been human for like 17 years of my life. I want to know what it's like to be a slice of bread. So we're gonna be here and we're gonna, we're gonna go on our story. We're gonna, we're gonna see our... ...in your side, like someone just stabbed you with a knife. Ow! Ow! Dude, why'd you get my abdomen? That's, that, that's upsetting, stop. It turns out that apparently someone did just stab you with a knife. Ow! I'm bleeding! It seems that you're a piece of bread. Oh! You're completely fine with it. Okay. I'm fine with being stabbed. Just then, a thought hit you. What? Bread is not supposed to be aware that it's bread. Because it's bread! <laughs> because it's bread! You're not supposed to be, you're not supposed to be like, I'm a piece of bread and I'm fine with this. But I'm not supposed to know! Oh, Christ. Uh, oh, what will I do? Hop away off to freedom. I go. Realize that I'm taken away from my entire family. My loaf. <laughs> Except my fate. Hop away! Independence for bread must and will be established. And it all starts with you. Yay! Wait, can I do something with my options? Why is, uh, I want the sound volume to be a little bit less. Starting off your grand escape with a poorly executed backflip, you make it onto level ground. Yay! This is like, you know what it's like? It's like I am bread, but like story time. Go left, go right. Right is always right. Right is always right. Ah, oh, dang it. Oh, no! Not in your favor, as your torturer recaptures you in their gigantic grip and sticks you back in the toaster where you belong. Oh, nice job there, Texas. What? Okay, okay, okay. Are you are you ready for it? Move, move. Yep, yep. Someone stabbed me. Someone stabbed me. But just. Yep. What will I do? I'll go off the freedom. All right, and I'll go left. Left is always left. Left is always left. You find yourself facing an open door. Yay! Hop out compared to the large opening in the wall that leads to your freedom. But at the same time, excited by all the new opportunities. Yep, I've just been stabbed and I'm off into the world. With a few more hops, you make it to the outside world. So pretty. Where will you go first? Where will I go? I want to go to the park. Screw this, man. I'm going back inside. What about that swanky looking hot dog cart? I'm going to be used as a bun. You make your way to the swankiest hot dog cart in town. Oh, the swankiest! An even equally swanky looking person who looks to be bent over and asleep, their chin resting on the palm of their hand, snoozing face inches close to falling on the scalding hot surface of the cart. Oh, got you. Excuse me, I wake up, you're about to burn alive. Excuse me, sir, you're about to burn alive. Um, this person looks like to be, uh... <laughs> I don't say anything! Let them burn! Um, I think it's a ma'am. She automatically stands up straight, her eyes wide open. Yes. A confused expression to ma she quickly realizes the situation she was in and that you just saved her from a hell of a medical bill. Hero, hero slice of bread. Call me Benny the bread slice. She picks you up and holds you in the air. Certainly not unlike how that monkey picked up Simba in The Lion King. You, you did that? Yeah, he did. Yes! She praises you endlessly for saving her face, mentioning somewhere in the word vomit that her name is Alexandria. Hello, Alexandria! So what now? We live together in harmony until I mold up. And Zandria and I now have a wonderful relationship and I work with you at the hot dog cart. Yo, I love that. I leave abruptly after this experience, don't even talk to this person. No! Yes! Unfortunately, Later, one of these bowling trips ended in you messing up a throw. It's shooting up into the air and landing on you, crushing you to death instantly. Well, freaking bowling is not exactly the best of my. But at least you died doing something you love with one of your best friends. Right? No! No! I, wa I want a different ending. I do will not stand for this. No! No! Okay, okay. If you oh! Face, you'd be sadly whispering, Mama. To your loaf and crying yourself a rip. <laughs> Grow up. <gasps> oh my god! You act 
actually did it. I have a face now. You successfully whisper a soft mama, mama. into your loaf's imaginary ear and begin to weep. What? Break and cry? You finish weeping soon after. Oh, he's so sad. He kind of looks like a butt. Eat myself out of existence because I'm so sad about my love. I'll just cry some more. You were about to start bawling your eyes out when a thought occurs. You could just stop being a big baby and suck it up. You could. Are you going to go through with this idea? Hmm. No, how could I? If that's how you feel about it. And so, you cry. <laughs> you cry and you cry. I just cry. cry I'm such an emotional. You cry so much that you end up flooding the house that you're currently inside of. At least, that's where it's What? Going. Christ! Completely ignoring the fact that the house is flooded, you continue to cry until eventually all of Earth has flooded. What? I'm sorry to say, but due to you being such a pussy, you flooded the house. Oh my God! I didn't even know Bread could cry! No one told me Bread cries! There are, no there are no survivors. Also, you're so I know. Okay, okay, okay. I'm gonna go off to my, my freedom. Go left. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go to that swanky hot dog car. About to go to that man. Guess what we're about to do? We're gonna have a wonderful relationship. We are now better. And eventually ask her to go on a date. To which she replies. Yay! You two hit it off famously, and you end up working with her at the hot dog cart. Ending this small adventure on a good note. Yay! I love ending. Give yourself a pat on the back, my friend. Oh, thank you! Thank you! Thank you! Oh, that was the best one! Alright, we're gonna we're gonna go and we're gonna we're gonna do some more stuff. Alright, we're gonna accept my fate now. <laughs> oh no, I went to the toaster. How do I feel about this terrible? I wish that uh I'm feeling some type of way. Just throwing it all away. Oh, give me another chance. Uh, sure, fine. Um, I will. You know what? We're going to hop off, right? We're going to go left. Oh, suck it. Yep, yep. And then we're going we're gonna to go back inside. Oh, dang it. That's stupid. That was dumb of me. The giant, that's it. Ah. Some dragon to come swooping through the house, or maybe King James III would just ride up into the kitchen on his horse to deliver you a quest or something. Hey, I would love that. No, sorry. Story of bread, man. Dang it. Okay, bread is not supposed to be bread. What will I do? You know, I'm going to realize that my, my entire family has been taken away. Grow a face. You said you f and then I'm gonna eat myself out? You consume your entire body, a newly acquired face, all in one big chomp. Unfortunately, this entire break in physics somehow is able to create What? Eventually sucking up all of the universe. That includes your love. No, not my family! Are you happy with yourself? No! You were a piece of bread that was lucky enough to be given life by some unknown god. But instead of becoming famous or going on bread adventures, you cried about your loaf. And ate all of the universe. I just want you to know that your loaf wouldn't want I know my loaf wouldn't want this. That was the Oh Jesus. Alright, we're gonna we're gonna try for another happy there, there has to be another type of happy ending. Oh, I know exactly what to do. Okay. We're gonna go left. Go out of Spinky. Save her life. Then we're gonna go leave. You give a plentiful amount of your welcomes before taking your leave, making your way towards the forest. Yay! The wide range of trees intrigues you, and you conclude that you could make your home. Yay! Fast forward a few years, and you've built a slice of bread-sized cottage beside a river. Look at me go, bread man! And then wrestle them so you can later cook them and eat them. Of course, you never actually do eat them because, well... Then why do I hunt for stuff? But it's a thought that counts. I guess so, yeah. Man, life in the wilderness sure is intense. But you wouldn't have it any other way. Yeah, I'm a successful piece of bread.
Oh, that was nice. I like that one. We're okay. We're gonna try one more time for something different. What if we do something else? What if we just let them burn? Oh, I, I feel so bad for this. Can I save it first? How do I save it? Uh, save. We're gonna save it right here. Just in case they actually do burn. Their eyes open slowly and their peaceful expression turns into one of panic. Oh good, they didn't like die. I mean their face was just about to get burned by a hot dog cart. They look at you accusingly for not warning them and crush you under their shoe, throwing a hmm <laughs> in there for him. Are you oh my god, are you serious? You can't help but realize that you sort of deserved it though. I guess being a jerk just doesn't work out sometimes. Okay, wait a second. Let me just let me just real quick just just let's just re re let's just reflect a little bit here. First of all, first of all, first of all, first of all, you're going to blame a piece of bread on the ground for not warning you even though it's a piece of bread that you do not know that actually has feelings and you know is, has life. But you're gonna still blame them anyway. It's like it's like stepping out a quarter for for not warning you that you know there's a crack in the the sidewalk that broke your mama's back. All right, you freaking ridiculous, ridiculous. Let's just just scream to warn them. <laughs> yes, hello. They automatically stand up straight, their eyes wide, and a confused expression to match. They quickly realize the situation. They they pick you up and they praise you. So what now? Oh, their name's Alex? Oh no, that's the same thing. Well, I like I always like I always like And eventually I I always like ending stuff. Give yourself a pat on the back, my friend. You've earned it. Oh, the end. I like it. Okay, that's a nice one to end out upon. Um That's fun. Uh, so that was a day in the life of a slice of bread. I wish it was a week, I wish it was a month in the life of a slice of bread, but it was just a simple game. I liked it a lot. I liked it a lot. It. I really wanted to make a. I wanted to be a sandwich though. I wish it was my quest. I wish I had a brother, and then we went on a quest to become the ultimate sandwich. Mother freaking awesome. But I really like this. This was awesome. I never, I, oh, I, was, oh, I always wanted to know what it was to be a, a slice of bread. I was a human and I was an alien. But now I've been a slice of bread. But anyway, thank you all so much for joining this video. If you did enjoy, blast the like button without even to subscribe for some more boss content. And I will see you guys in the next video.